Previously on Banjo Tooie. Oh, that'll actually lead us to a lonely little Jinjo who's been locked up. It's his crime probably being way too yellow. Okay, well, Canary Mary is over here. She's going to be waiting around for us. But before we do this, let's uh, go up here. Uh, here's another challenge that I'm actually kind of looking forward to. We have another Regal Blaster segment. Oh, and we have a new move over here. Another use for the Feathered Freak makes good use of her pointy beak. The bad guys know that it's no joke. Just press B to give him a poke. Okay, well... Oh, right. I didn't see that scene earlier. <laughs> Oh god, I love whenever that happens. But yeah, this is essentially the, uh... I guess the melee weapon inside these modes. Makes things a lot easier. I feel like it's better to attack in this fashion as opposed to uh, using eggs. You've learned a beak attack, huh? Sure have, partner. Well, maybe you can help me out here. A real nasty bunch of TNT sticks have escaped from their box and are threatening to blow up my mind. Don't worry, we'll go in there and blast them. No! Shoot one and the whole mine will explode. You'll have to try and defuse them somehow. Anything else? Yep, you'll have to be quick, because when you defuse the first one, the others will probably start their detonation timers. Okay, well... That sounds like a challenge, and a challenge I am willing to accept. Now I will say, when I uh, first played this game in my first playthrough, this is probably one of the more annoying uh, mini-games, I guess. It's really not that bad, though, uh, anymore. I feel like I kind of have a better handle on how to do this. Don't let the time stress you out so much, though. And my strategy for this is just to go around the outside edges and uh, look for all the... TNT and dynamite sticks you can. Once you go around the whole place in a circle form, you can start uh, backtracking and looking for rooms you possibly didn't explore yet. That's honestly the best way to go about doing this, in my own honest opinion. So yeah, I know once I get into that one room, that I'll actually be... Uh, making a full circle by that point. But like I was saying, yeah, this was like really hard for me when I was younger, and I think a lot of other people struggled with this as well. I think I even remember when I first showed my cousin this game, he like got so freaking angry, angry, and he's not the kind of guy who really gets angry at video games either. He's a pretty calm and collected guy, but this was even starting to frustrate him. You almost think that you explored every nook and cranny at some point, but then, uh... I don't know, sometimes there's usually one TNT stick that you forget about. I can understand, I've been down that road myself, it's not fun, but... Pretty much the tip I gave just a minute ago, it works out pretty well. I feel like you really won't miss anything if you do it in this fashion. I know that we haven't exactly gone full circle yet, but I'm very, very confident I know where the last three are. In fact, I believe two of them are in this very room. And then the last one would probably be up here. Definitely heed the advice of the guy, though, because if you use your eggs, uh, the entire mine will literally explode and you have to try again. There we go, Jiggy number... I think that's only the first Jiggy we've gotten. We've gotten a lot of Jinjos and other stuff, but I think that was actually the first Jiggy. Unless I just really can't think of anything else. Well, let's find our way out of here. I believe we want to go this way. 
Yep, okay. See, and we technically have come full circle. I mean, here we are, back at the beginning, and I wasn't really too far from it either. It does take practice, though, because I feel like there is definitely some memorization to be had, but... Honestly, just use your head. If you feel like you haven't been in an area, chances are you probably haven't. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I did not mean to go back down here. I want to get out of here. I've had enough fun with the explosives for one day. Okay, that is actually untrue. I never tire of playing with explosives. <laughs> I can't help it, it's just so much fun. You guys have to understand that. That's why I love games like GoldenEye 007. You can just play a multiplayer and turn only explosives on. It's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Hey there, Canary Mary. Why are you still around? Oh, my wings are still a bit stiff from spending so long in that cage. How about a race to help me stretch them? On this old handcart, I'm sure it was broken when I saw it last. It was, but I fixed it and put it back on the track. You're pretty resourceful for an old bird, aren't you? I'd like to try. Jump aboard if you fancy a go. Sounds like fun. What do we do? Simply tap A as fast as you can to drive the handcart along. So it's like handcar havoc, I see. Well, I never turn back from a good Mario Party minigame. And honestly, this is what this game feels like. <laughs> Basically, you just gotta mash A the whole way. You don't have to worry about turning or braking, just press A for God knows how long as much as you can. <laughs> Honestly, it's not so bad. I feel like Canary Mary doesn't really go that fast, so it's not like you're going to be struggling the entire way through. Just take it easy, take your time, and you'll be fine. And there we go. That takes care of that. Sorry, Mary. I think we beat you there, Mary. Well, I guess you can have this shiny thing I found before I got locked in that cage. Is it a Jiggy? I can't remember what it is. It's been under my wing for days. Ew. I'm not sure we want it in that case. I'm kind of with Kazooie, but uh, we kind of have to. That was a fine race. Sure was. My wings are starting to feel better. How about racing back again? Up on the card if you think you can beat me again. Well, normally I'd say screw it because my hand hurts from pressing those buttons, but we do technically have to do this again if we want to get 100%. You won't get a jiggy, but you will get another item. I'm probably just going to fast forward through this. There we go. Thank God that's over. I've pressed the A button a lot these days. <laughs> My fingers could use a rest. That's two out of two for us, Mary. Perhaps you'd like this piece of paper as a prize. It's been wedged in my... No, I don't want to know where it's been. 
I think I've spent quite enough time in this gloomy old mine. I'm off to swoop and soar amongst the clouds. Bye-bye, friends. Perhaps we'll see each other again. I hope we don't, because that will really hurt my fingers if we do. Just saying. But yeah, there we go. We got our, uh, I think, second Cheeto page for this area. Yeah, I think it's the second one. Let's, let's go ahead and check, actually. Yep, okay, we still need uh, one Cheeto page, one Jinjo, a lot of notes, and a lot of Jiggies, so... We still got a bit to go here, but that's fine. I expected no less from this game. Let's uh, go back over here towards the Crushing Shed. I think that's where we should probably go next. I think there could be a few things uh, worth noting. Not to mention the Crushing Shed itself might actually be a good place to start. Also, yay! Okay, no, it's a good thing I checked. Okay, what do we have in here? Well, here's the giant Jiggy Rock that we found earlier. I think we're probably going to want to go across this, but let's uh, be a little careful with how we... Oh, I don't have any gold feathers. Well, survey says YOLO, and survey says die, apparently. Okay, well, we got the conveyor belt moving. Seems to be pushing the rock right into those metal blades, though, and if there is a Jiggy in there, that could not be a necessarily a good thing for it. Ooh, especially the way it's kind of cracking down everything. Uh-oh. Looks like our Jiggy's in pieces. Well, maybe we can use some glue to piece it back together. Glue, tape, bubble gum, I don't know. Any anything will help, I guess. Yeah, let's repair this thing. I always thought that was cute, though, too, as it only plays like part of the Jiggy fanfare after each piece you collect. Oh, but there we go. Okay, Jiggy has been restored. And with that, where do we want to go next? Um, Yeah, let's go over here to the Flooded Caves. This is one of the places we opened earlier with the... Uh, detonator. I could get lost here, though, because I never remember where exactly I need to go. I have an idea, but... Let's just say I'm not 100% too sure. Okay, this is definitely the wrong way to go. Let's, uh... Very quickly get out of here. And we'll try going this way. Let's see if we can, uh... Yeah, let's try going this way. Okay, well this is actually not where I meant to go, but this place is actually a decent start and going in the right direction. Let's try... Shoot, where's that? Okay, here it is. Uh, let's try going this way. God, I always feel bad when I do this because I think I get lost every single time. That's looking like it's going to be the case here, too. Yeah, I think this is just going to take us back to this room again. 
Oh god, I'm about to die. That's not good. That is very not good. Wait, maybe it's over here. Oh god, hurry up, Banjo. Hurry up, hurry up. Ah, oh, thank god. Oh, and look, I actually found it, too. <laughs> Perfect. And I was worried about dying. Silly, silly me. I can't help it, I get nervous whenever <laughs> I'm in such a very perilous position like that. I know it may seem like I keep my cool pretty easily, but... Deep inside, though, deep inside, I was having a huge battle with myself. Okay, well now we have to find our way out of this maze. Doesn't really matter uh, which exit we go inside, as long as we get out of here. I think this is actually where we started out, so that's good. Okay, not sure if it is, but I'll take it. Oh! God, I did not see that guy there. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, well, I didn't actually mean to come here, but I'll work with it for now, I guess. We can actually access the Waterfall Cavern in a different area, and going through that area will actually allow us to grab that Jiggy that you briefly saw. For now, though, what do we have in here? Well, we have a Jinjo, and I think that's actually the white Jinjo. Oh, dang it. I want to see if it's the white Jinjo. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> we cannot actually grab the white Jinjo here, though, because this is one of the instances where we'll have to actually go to a different world of the game and come back here through a warp gate of some kind. It's definitely something they try to do a lot in this game, which I kind of have mixed feelings about. I definitely understand the need for backtracking, and I feel like this game does a really good job of connecting all the worlds. But, I don't know. I, I, I just, I just kind of like the atmosphere of Banjo-Kazooie a little better, where you feel like you can just knock out entire worlds at once without having to leave and come back later. That's just a personal preference of mine. Just a personal preference, that's all it is. That's all it is, and that's all it's gonna be. Okay, well, we're back at the crushing shed. I think we should probably keep moving. Next place I wanna go... Well, you know what? We'll find out when we get there. That sounds like a plan to me. Very quickly, though, did I forget any notes along this path? I feel like I'm missing five notes. Oh, okay, I am. That's why. And I think that's actually all the notes for this world. Yes, it is. Okay, well. Last thing we really need to get here is just get all the jiggies that we still need to get. My god, let me tell you guys, there's quite a few of them. First off, let's go over here to, uh... Actually, no, forget I said that. We need to go in the other direction. I guess I always kind of get this part confused a little bit, just because there are technically multiple ways you can go through here. But yeah, I'm looking for this little tunnel over here. We came out of this side uh, after we got that one Jinjo that was inside the jail. But there is actually another reason why we want to go this way, and that's going to be this room right here. We have the Generator Cavern. Warning, unreliable generators, use at your own risk. 
Well, these generators don't seem to work or really light up the area very much, so let's use some fire eggs, the new weapon at our disposal. Again, the fire eggs are actually really, really cool. I just feel like there's going to be a better variation of the egg we'll have later on. For the fire eggs, it's just kind of that, well, you know, in platforming games, there's always this thing with fire, and you need to light the way, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's a very, very cliche item inclusion, but... Hey, if it works for the games, it works for the games. I'm not going to complain. Oh, gosh. You definitely want to be careful, though, because uh, you don't want the light going off at you when you uh, make it to a very weird point. But we got this. We got this. Oh, uh, 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 Banjo? You need to grab the jiggy before you actually do anything. Also, can you technically make it up here? I don't know, I think it's just out of reach, but I feel like it could be possible using glitches and exploitation. There are a lot of things you can actually exploit in this game, and it's not necessarily like a speedrun, like... really great big breaking thing you do to break this game. I mean, there are some things that just I feel like the developers didn't think of. We'll get into that later, though. A lot of the mechanics uh, won't come into play until much later anyway.